Sure, thank you. Our top story this morning, bringing answers to families looking for their lost loved ones. Last month, the group Adventures with Purpose made headlines a couple of times in Central Texas. The first when they found more than a dozen vehicles in Lake Whitney. The group spent three days there searching for John Creech, who has been missing for 20 years. Days later, they were in the Brazos River in Waco. That's when they found a car belonging to Stephanie Torres, who hadn't been seen since 2017. Since 2019, Adventures with a Purpose has helped solve 19 cold cases. But how did this team of citizen sleuths get their start? Barry Roy has their story. I'm Mr. Lysak, and today we're going to go dive the river. Every the story begins on the banks of somewhere. Let me get in the water and just start showing what's out of sight, out of mind, sharing the world in a way that other people don't always have, you know, the ability to see. If you're missing a red dinner plate, I found it. Is it uh, like a uh, yes to I'm a guy. I don't know. I swear. <laughs> and it's round. Are you missing a red one? Yeah. Ah! On the other side of what's familiar, <laughs> caught in the depth of the current, buried fortunes, seemingly. Forgotten. <laughs> this hobby took on a life of its own. The challenge for me was to can we as a group of guys recover a car that's 40 feet deep underwater? We went in for we went in for that car, and when we did, we accidentally found two more cars. We went in for one of those cars, we accidentally found three more. Change of plans, we're not going for the Mazda today. Instead, we're gonna go get the, uh, what I call the gangster car, it's a blue one. Jared Lysick and his crew would upload their videos to YouTube. And we're doing 45 feet because it's not as deep. With Scott already being down over 80. For everyone to see. That's the game plan. Let's go make this happen. Okay, we found a car. Not sure which car this is. Oh, yep, this is the car I'm looking for. But little did Jared know, the world, in fact, was more than watching. The back of it. So this car is blue. A family reached out to us from Warrenton, Missouri, and said, we see what you've been posting on YouTube. We see that you've been recovering these cars. We have a lost loved one that we believe is underwater in the Missouri River. Do you think that you can come help us out? Everything he's doing, he's doing by film. There's anybody inside here. Seatbelt still on. That's as far as I can. What is this? Oh. Since 2019, the Adventures with Purpose team has given 19 families the closure that's eluded them, and some for more than a decade. I can't even begin to relate the type of you know, torture that would be, the day to day, having to live your life just not knowing. A Waco woman disappears, leaving her family. Last month, with a four year old cold case brought them to Central Texas. We just took off and never came back. Today was the day Bianca Torres was supposed to celebrate her mother's 43rd birthday. It just feels weird without her. It's definitely her car, same discoloration, paint peeling on the front hood. Solved with the help of strangers. From what I saw and was able to get up there and see, um, it, it's positive identification for me. So we do have confirmation that there are uh, human remains inside of the vehicle. Is there any information I can help you with at this time? Family just needs time. Anything else I can do for you? For now, I'm heading back under. What began as an adventure. The other side of what's familiar. Samantha Hopper, a mother who was reported missing in September of 1998. It's been 23 years. Became the only hope for families left behind. I 
think we just found some of the hopper. Get no babies. The way that he just said, and, and it's tough, the way they just said, I think that we just found Samantha Hopper and her babies. Is this a purpose? You know, I could be in anything else. I could be making, you know, a lot of money, but I couldn't imagine, you know, even if I was making millions, I'm not going to have the purpose that this provides. It's I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> purpose to heal one family at a time. We cry side by side with some of these families. Giving them something that nobody else has ever been able to do is it's hard to explain. Where's your merchant site? Yeah, hey, uh, we're an underwater sonar search and recovery dive team. In uh, Temple. in the area to work a 23-year-old missing persons case. Uh, Barry Roy. Hopper and her two children. We have identified the vehicle. We have positive identification. We need a uh, officer over here. Six News. Where are you, sir? So we're off of uh, Pleasant View. Adventures with Purpose says they work closely with law enforcement. If you'd like to learn more about their cause and how you can help, head to our website, kcentv.com. They mentioned purpose there, and that's obviously within the title of their name, and I think yeah. their purpose is pretty clear, is to give people closure, to give people answers. Yeah, I'm really thankful that we have people like that, um, who, like you said, they said could be making a lot more money doing something else, but a way to provide closure to these families. It's hard to see firsthand. It's raw accounts, but I I'm glad that, you know, that's one step that they can move forward. That. Right, and by documenting it, obviously yeah. they spread a word about the, the important work that they're doing, so yeah. always good.